Hi guys, so uh, a lot of people talk about uh, Cheyenne Otani and they should because he is pretty much the best baseball player right now on the planet and I want him to show you what, what he does, did since he's been in the league and it's been remarkable but what's really stopping him of winning championship is because the Angels are not that great. So let's get into it. 2018, he starts there. Uh, he's pitching. He's four wins, two loss, 3.31 ERA, and 63 strikeouts. So he's really good pitching. Uh, in batting, he did 49 runs, 93 hits, 22 home runs, 61 RBI, and he, his batting average was at .285. But what didn't help is the Angels in 2018, uh, 80 wins, 82 loss. They were fourth place in the L West and no playoff. Um, then they get 2019, he did not pitch that year. Uh, but batting 51 runs, 110 hits, 18 home runs, 62 RBIs. Batting average of 286, one of his best batting average. Uh, in in the season, the Angels, again, uh, 72 wins, 90 loss, 4 plays. In the AL West, no playoff. Uh, they really have trouble to make the playoff. 2020, the, everybody played very bad in 2020. It was the pandemic, and uh, his numbers were not that great. So, pitching, he only pitched one game, so 0-1. 37 point eight zero ERA and 3 strikeouts. So, really bad numbers. Uh, even with the batting, 23 runs, 29 hits, 7 home runs, uh, 24 RBIs, and a batting average of 190. Uh, the numbers, I don't really look at it because it was a small season and a small sample size. But the average 190 is really bad. But it's okay, he bounced back. Since then, he's been remarkable. 2021, um, and also in 2020... Sorry, the Angels were 26 and 34, fourth place in the AL West, no playoff. So 2021, like I said, a 9 and 2 record, so he's pitching really better. 3.18 ERA and 156 strikeouts. Uh, in batting, 103 runs, 138 hits, 46 home runs, 100 RBIs, and batting average of 0.257s. I believe he was the MVP that season. And he should be. Uh, in 2021, the Angels again, 77, 77 wins, 85 loss. Fourth place in AL West, no playoff. 2022, 15-9 record. Really great record. 2.33 ERA and 219 strikeouts. Batting, 90 runs, 160, 160 hits, 34 home runs, 95 RBIs, and a batting average of .273 uh, batting average. So, But the team, again, 73 wins, 89, uh, 89 loss, third place in AL West. A little bit better than the fourth place, but uh, no playoffs again. 2023, this year, he's 7-5 with a 3.50 ERA, 139 strikeouts. He's probably going to pass his strikeouts, I believe. Uh, 2023, uh, so in batting this year, 71 runs, 101 hits. So he's going to pass his 103 runs for sure, his record. 111 hits, he's going to pass his 160 hits. 35 home runs, he's going to pass his 46 all-time. And 76 RBIs, he's going to pass his 100 RBIs. And I believe he's going to be the MVP this year. Batting average of 306, that's his best all-time. And right now, the Angels, third place in AL West. Uh, the, uh, um, the, the first in their division is the Rangers, 58-39. Second place is Astros. 53 and 43. They are nine games behind first place. And wild card, they're 4.5 games behind. They're, they're still in it in the wild card. Um, and 
also the last time they made the playoff was in 2020, uh, 2014. They lost in the AL Division Series. That was a long time ago. That was before he was even think about it. So a lot of people think, uh, a lot of people talking uh, about him being traded to a better team. Uh, for sure, if he would have been in uh, Los Angeles, the Dodgers, a uh, big market like Boston Red Sox, uh, Yankees, uh, big markets like that, they, he probably have championship, pretty much. But if I was the Angels, they, they, they're very late on this, though. They, they should uh, get players around him, build this team around him. Uh, they've been not doing that. They need to. They're a little bit late on that. They have to because he's a, he's in this prime and he's the best player in baseball and he deserves to go in the playoff. If they do, uh, if they go in the playoff this year, um, I don't think he goes anywhere. I think it's actually really helpful that the Angels actually makes the playoff. So they're gonna have to win a few games here. Uh, and we'll see. And but maybe in the trade deadline they get players and they they, they actually go maybe win a, go in the wild card maybe. But uh, they need to make the playoff to keep this guy because he's gonna want to win one day. But if I was them, I would not trade him for anybody. He he's you can't you can't replace players for him. You can't get player like him. He's one of a lifetime. The closest is Babe Roof. Actually, you can compare him as Babe Roof. I never see him play, obviously. But it's the closest because he can pitch and batting. He's two player in one. So let me know in the comments below if this team should trade him. I don't think they should. They should build around him. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you for all your support. And I'll see you soon in more videos. See you guys.